Hey guys, it's Jen at the Sunshine Farm. Today I decided to make a bean teepee. Now, I didn't really have plans for this. I just woke up this morning and wanted to do something fun and creative. So I decided, why not make a bean teepee? I know we have lots of sticks. We had extra garden space in the front here. And so I thought, let's make a bean teepee. I know my friend Josh over at the City Stead has also done something similar and it's super easy to do. It's normally free if you have sticks around or you know somebody who has sticks. It's a great way to do vertical gardening and increase your growing space. There's so many different pole beans you can grow. As an added bonus, this would also work great for cucumbers, peas in the spring and fall, and anything really that climbs, as long as it's not too heavy. So anything light that climbs, like cucumelons, um, like I said, cucumbers, and uh, pole beans. I'm gonna show you how I built this. Super simple, and I hope you enjoy, and I hope that you can make your own free bean teepee in your own garden. So we actually had a bunch of brush piles lying around because we recently had to cut down two trees that were encroaching on the garden space and keeping us from being able to expand. So we actually had a lot of sticks and branches lying around and I wasn't able to use all of them up for my hookah culture bed. So I was excited to be able to use some more of them. So really all I did was I pulled branches that were of similar size and as straight as possible. I cut off um, all of the smaller branches growing along the larger piece. So just cut off the larger branches on the stem using some, some good old pruners and occasionally my hands. <laughs> and then I grabbed some string that I actually had for trellising tomato plants. And I started by putting four long sticks together and tying them up so just they would stay in place. And then I just kept adding more and more sticks one by one to fill out the space and have sticks every eight inches or so for the pole beans to grab onto with their tendrils. So you could definitely do more sticks. You could probably do less sticks as long as you put something else around the teepee to be able to allow your plants to grab on. I use some logs to support them from the outside as you can see right there. And then I weaved string all the way through and it's pretty sturdy. You can see I'm pulling on it and it's really not budging all that much. We actually had some wind today and it didn't move at all. So it's possible that a winter storm would blow this thing over. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I am probably going to support it a little bit more with some bricks along the base as we approach the winter season. It's possible that a thunderstorm will blow it over, but you don't know unless you try. So this is absolutely free. Wasn't too much work. You use natural materials in our yard and it's gonna grow food. So after I put that together, I simply grabbed some fresh soil that has been breaking down for a bit over near our compost piles. Actually, the soil that I used used to be sod and the first couple inches of topsoil. Um, and we had it in a pile so the grass would all break down. It's really good stuff. So I put that down like two or three inches deep around the outside of the teepee and then I direct seeded a bunch of different pole beans. That's one way we're growing pole beans this year. The other way is we're growing them on one of our vertical trellises. And then the last way we're growing pole beans is actually on our corn stalks. As the corn grows, we're going to be doing the three sisters method. Tell me about the ways that you've saved money in the garden and reused materials. I wanna hear all about it. And if you have pictures, post them on our, on our Facebook page, Sunshine Farm NY. I would love to see them. And I'm excited to hear more about what you're doing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye friends.